Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, this is Wes Virgin here, and um, I just want to hop on this video here. I want to share some with you. As you know, I'm out here in Ethiopia, Africa, and just look at that view. You know, I'm, I'm sitting, um, actually standing off my terrace, my balcony here. Beautiful, gorgeous view of the city here, and um, you know, I felt the need to record a video and to kind of share some things, you know. And I kind of want to talk about how I got here. And I haven't, I've spoken about this a little bit, but I kind of want to go into depth, you know, because I was in my bed. You know, first let me show you a tour of the place here. It's a nice suite. It's one of the nicest ones. I'm in Sheraton here and Adidas uh, Ababa. I don't know if I said that correctly. But if you see here, this is the um, master bedroom here. Um, it's nice, beautiful. If you go back here, um, have the, co the closet space. I'm sorry, the bathroom here. Um, everything is pretty much automated here. It's like, the only thing I don't like about the shower, it's kind of small. Well, the Ethiopian, they're kind of small men or small people, so I'm a bit large, so. But we made it happen. And here's the living area here. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, then you have a nice door out to the balcony that I can actually see, not only from my living room here, but also from the bedroom so if I wake up in the morning so I actually you know when I've been sleeping and get up in the morning I've been leaving the door open at night because the weather is absolutely amazing here so I can hear the wind and um, sleep well and wake up to a, a beautiful scenery here but I want to talk about real briefly you know how did I get here you know what did I do because I want to give you uh, some of the tools techniques or whatever uh, that I believe that I know for sure that you can use to start to steer your car, right? And I, you know, I use car as a metaphor as your life in the right direction, okay? Because, you know, I, I was thinking about my life when I was sitting in the bed. I said, you know what? Man, about a couple of months ago, I wasn't doing this, you know? You know, if you, if you watch my video, if you watch me for the last couple of years, this is what I was dreaming about, right? So I was dreaming about, you know, dream boards, and I was claiming, I was confessing the things that I wanted, um, and I was very passionate about it, you know. I was very determined to create this life that I'm living right now. I'm traveling once a month. Um, I mean, I'm making more money on vacation. Listen to me here. And I don't really call it a vacation any longer. It's just life. It's just how I live my life. You know, it's just life. It's not a vacation. So that means when I leave, I don't have to do anything, right? I don't have to go do an excursion or, you know, let me go see the city. No, I can just sit here and relax and do nothing if I want. I can stay here for a month if I wanted to, right? Because I want to take me in the moment. But I want to talk about real quickly is, you know, how I got here. You know, how did this happen? You know, how did I go from the guy in the little apartment to the high rise, to the cars that I'm buying, the homes that I'm buying, uh, vacationing around the world every single month, every, every time that I vacation. Look at this. I'm, I'm going to share this with you. You know, I, I just think you're a family. You know, anybody that listens to my videos, you're family. Even if I don't know you, but, you know, I, I just think that way, right? So, since I've been here, I've only spent about not even 10000 bucks, and but I've made over forty, right? And I haven't did much as far as emails and you know, checking on the business. The business is running for me on autopilot. And I think this is what a lot of people, this is what they really want to do. They don't want to really run a business, right? You don't want to go to <laughs> your business every day or turn your laptop every day just to make money or just to survive or just to be able to create whatever lifestyle you're creating today. I think people, what they really want, even entrepreneurs, um, people that's looking to per se, going to business, they really want the lifestyle. Does that make sense? They just want to have the ability to do whatever they want to do and not worried about the price and not worried about people telling them what to do. And they could be, be able to create experiences and moments like I'm doing here in Ethiopia, okay? And, and I call this, you know, I read this from a book. It's called The New Rich. The Old Rich, they're in business, yes, but they're doing something to create the wealth of does that make sense? They have to, let me give you an example. Like maybe you have a nail salon business, or a hair business, or um, I don't know, car business, or 
a consulting business, but if you don't do something, right, if you don't meet with that client, if if you don't take the time to um, work in your business every single day, you're not going to create the income. Does that make sense? I, I tell people this. You don't have a business. You don't have a business at all unless, unless you can disconnect from your business for 30 to 60 days, and I mean totally disconnect and still make money. If you're not doing it, you're not in business, okay? You just have a job, okay? You don't even know it. You just have a job, okay? You, you're taking control, yes. You're not working for someone, but you have to do activity on a daily basis to create the money, okay? Now, this, you may say, well, Wesley, what does it have to do with me, you know? This is what I really want, okay? I want to be able to create wealth or do certain things so I can just live life and not worry about the money, okay? And I didn't think about it. Just let it come in while I experience this thing called life, where I can basically create experiences, okay? First thing, and I want you to write this down, okay? It's very important. And I'm going to talk about this in my coaching program. I got about a couple of people that's going to join. Um, it's going to be amazing. I don't speak to everybody, but um, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to help everybody that joins this program to make $10,000 per month, period. Trust me. You're going to see the results. So I'm going to show them to you. But write this down, okay? This is what I did for months. Listen to me. For months, I would write in my journal, my journal, and I was very clear, okay? And I was very clear on what I wanted. And what I didn't want, I didn't necessarily want the business. A lot of people, I asked them, I said, you know, what do you want to life? Well, I want to quit this job, man. I want to start my own business. And I wanted to do this as well for, five, for the first five years when I started my company. But I found myself always in my business working to make money. Does that make sense? But what I really wanted, right? And I want you to write this down. What I really wanted was the lifestyle that the business would bring or what I thought the business would bring, right? Because so many of us, you, you're connected to your business. You're connected to everything you do out of life, right? Some of you guys, I'm an accountant, I'm a teacher, I'm a lawyer, I'm a consultant, I'm a hairstylist. You're so connected to what you do, sometimes you're blinded to create the destiny. Does that make sense? See, if I was online every day, on FatDeminister.com, 7dayfitness.com, running all my several websites, all my businesses online, I would not be able to do what I'm doing here because I'll be worried about the business. That makes sense? I'll be, well, you know what? I need to check my email. I need to make sure the website is up. I need to make sure the customers are getting served. I need to make sure that the people that I hired are doing exactly what they need to do. I need to make sure that every, the money is still, I mean, I'll be thinking about that stuff, right? Instead of enjoying this beautiful country here. Right, eating this amazing Ethiopian food. Talking to people that have nothing, but they're so happy. You know, looking at experience now, my, my humility has gone to another level because, man, I see people out here that have nothing. Me and, uh, me and just yesterday, me and one of my friends, this young lady uh, that I'm dating now, we went through the streets driving around. I see these kids that have nothing running around with no shoes. Kids on the street. I mean, the other day, I'm in Thailand. I see this mother sleeping on the ground, and she has a string tied to her finger. And on the other side is her child because she needed to get some sleep, but she put like a manual leash on him so he wouldn't get away. Wow. You're talking about a humble experience. You're talking about when I go back to America, I understand even more that I have, that I am so blessed. I'm so grateful. I just can't. I, I mean, it's not one day. If I lose everything today, it is not one moment that I'm not going to thank God, that I'm not going to thank the universe for what I have. Because these people wish, they pray every single day, that they can have the same type of freedom that I have. So what I want you to write down, what I want you to think about is what do you really want? Don't tell me you want a business. Don't tell me, well, I want to make more money. Don't tell me I want to quit. Don't tell me those things. Tell me what you want. What do you really want? The best way, to, this is how I did it. When I said, you know, I want a business. Well, what is that business going to do for you, Wesley? What is going to help me to make money? Well, what is that money going to do for you, Wesley? What is going to allow me to create the lifestyle that I want? Well, what kind of lifestyle are you talking about, Wesley? What do you, what do you want to do? What lifestyle? You know, a lot of people, they use this word, successful, rich, but you must define what that means for you, okay? 
You got to define what success means to you. It's different from everybody. Some people just want to contribute and they want to start nonprofit organizations. Some people want to buy several cars and several homes around the world. Some people want to be movie stars. Some people want to be just great um, parents. Right? Everybody has their own level of success. But see, that's the problem. It is no clarity. We allow the universe or the television, right? We allow that to tell us how we should be successful. We see Jay Z, Beyonce, Lil Wayne, all these people. They got the cars, they got the jewelry, they're traveling, they're on TV. We say, oh, I want that. I want to be a reality star. This is what I want. Right? Only because we see other people. And we say, well, hmm, huh, that looks nice. But, you know, at the end of the day, we really don't even want that stuff. At the end of the day, if you take a very sharp view into their lives, they don't want it either. See, you know what I want? I want the ability to travel the world. I want the ability to buy different things. Yeah, I want to, I'm going to buy, you know, jewelry, nice clothes, homes, shelves, butlers, right? Yes. Maids. Because this gives me the ability to contribute to people without stress. See, if I treat myself like a king, listen to me. You're the same. If you treat yourself like a king or a queen, you're less stressed and it gives you a better opportunity to help somebody else. See, what I want in my life purpose is to make a contribution. I was clear about it. But to that point, I had to define what the success and all these things that I wanted. You know, what did I really want? Because see, check that. As an engineer, I made ten dollars to $20,000 per month already. But see, the problem was I had five different contracts. I was on conference calls all the time. I had to travel around the globe. So I had to do something to create that level of success. I said, I didn't want this because see, I thought I wanted the money. So I said, I got more contracts and I made more money. But guess what? I was still unhappy. I was, I was happy for a moment. But even the money on the things that's going on right now in your life, it gets boring. That makes sense? It gets regular. It gets to be your normal. So I had to take a moment, several days, and I had to get my journal that is sitting right now in Houston, Texas, and I had to say, Wesley, what do you want? And I would spend hours on this. I'm telling you to do the same thing. I'm telling you right now to do it right now. Put out a journal, put out a sheet of paper. And I want you to get intimate with yourself. And I want you to be honest with yourself. Tell me, tell yourself, you, you that's listening to my voice, what do you really want? Spend some time. Sometime it takes days. Guess what? It took me more than a year to figure it out. Because some of the things that I thought I wanted, I said, no, I really don't want that. I have to be clear. I want you to be clear. Write down, what type of day do you want? See me, I just want to get up whenever I want to get up. That's it. If I want to take a trip, I can. If I want to go across the world, I can. I want to get up. I want to go work out. I want to come back home. I wanted to read some books. Maybe talk, inspire some people, create a video that I'm creating for you right now. Travel the globe. Buy exotic, beautiful cars. And continue to be an example on how I feel that a human person would like to experience life and not be afraid of the criticism. You know, I know sometimes, you know, when people watch my videos, it's okay, you know. They say, oh, you're posting pictures of the things you have and you're bragging. I'm not bragging, man. I'm only showing you what's possible. That's it. I'm showing you what a lot of people won't show you because they think like that as well. They, they're afraid. They say, well, you know what? A lot of people out there, you know, they think about the masses. They say, man, the masses are always going to be that way. I just don't believe that. I believe you had an opportunity to see a glimpse. See, it's one thing for me to tell you what's possible, but it's another thing to show you. I'm showing you right now, I'm in Ethiopia on a Sunday morning. Tomorrow, guess what? I'll be here as well. Then me and this young lady, we're going to Egypt together, right? To raise some camels. <laughs> That's going to be funny. But this is what I'm doing on a Monday, on a Tuesday morning here, okay? Flying to Egypt, first class, okay? That's where I'm going. What are you doing Tuesday? What are you doing Monday? See, like I said, I believe, me, Wesley Virgin, 
that the masses, if they had an opportunity to understand and see that it's possible, they get a glimpse, a tangibility that, you know, maybe you're not with me right now. Maybe I can't talk to you physically, but you can see that this is all possible. That you can see that as a young man from Houston, Texas, that that did not grow up rich, that did not grow up wealthy at all. Create an experience, create this type of life. And I think anybody that's interested, anyone, I think you appreciate the information. So what I want you to do, and I'm close this video, just write down right now. I'm just going to give you that one tip. Tomorrow I'm going to give you another one. When I fly to Egypt, I'm going to give you another one, okay? And this is all a part of the coaching. The coaching is going to be on fire this year, guys. Because I'm really going to give people what they really want. I'm going to give them the nuts and bolts of what it takes to be truly successful. I'm going to dig, dig down deep into your core and your desires. And guess what? Yes, you're going to have great things. Yes, you're going to make money. But guess what? You're going to become a better person. You're going to become and you're going to start to attract the things that you want instead of the things that you don't want. You know, just a minute ago, guys, let me show you this. I got up. And you know how we do so much because, you know, in the beginning, you know, I said I want to be successful. So I would read all the books. I would watch all the videos. I would go to all the seminars. But I found myself last night. Okay. I found myself last night. Get in on my laptop and let me show you what I watched for two hours. Didn't go to sleep till six o'clock in the morning. Let me show you what I watched. Because it's so ingrained in me. See, it's going to get to the point that it's going to be so ingrained into your subconscious mind on how to be successful and how to achieve these type of results that it's almost inevitable not to continue to be successful. See this guy right here? Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins is probably one of the things or one of the gentlemen... And I've never, I have met him in person, but I've never, um, this guy, you just really changed my thinking in so many ways. And I found myself watching his video and I've seen this a thousand times and I'm watching it again. Because even me, even all the success that I have right now, I know I still need to reignite that fire. I know that I still need to put wood on the fire. Some of you guys, you know, you start to fight, you say, oh, I'm good now. Man, life is amazing. Then you, guess what? The fire goes out. Right? And when the fire goes out, guess what? Your, start, your life starts to deteriorate. Right? You start to go back down. You start to lose things. But see, the thing is, I have to keep putting the gas on the fire. And that's what I'm doing. I got to keep on. Look at this. Let me show you what I'm reading to you. I'm reading this. Brain power. I'm across the world. Because see, this is not a vacation to me. This is a life. This is my life. New experiences, new people. This is a learning experience. Guess what? Not just for me, for you. You. I'm talking to you. It's not just for me. It's for you. If I touch one person in this video, if one person said, I got it, man, you know what? I'm going to make some changes in my life right now so I can get the things that I want. I'm going to stop procrastinating, bitching, complaining, crying, being depressed. Feeling sorry for myself every day, and I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna take some massive action. Because those things that I see Wesley, what he has, I want those things. I desire some of those things. But most of all, I desire to have the feeling not to worry, not to stress. To live in a world now that I understand, I'm talking to you, that I live now in a world. That my environment does not create my destiny. My environment, the things around me, the people, they don't create my reality. I do. Right now at this moment, I don't know if it's night, evening, noon, morning. Right now you can take control of your destiny. Right now you can make the decisions. You can make those choices. You can take control of every thought in your mind right now and say, I'm going to do this no matter what. I have no idea if it's going to work out. But I know right now... The things that I am doing is not working out. My life is a record play, and I'm doing the same things every single year. I'm saying the same stuff. Right now, I am going to make a conscious decision in the direction where I want to go. And even though it's going to be hard, even though it's going to be pain, it's going to be struggle, it's going to be people that's going to, they're going to be upset, they're going to be pissed, they're going to criticize, but I'm going to persevere. Because the life that I, that I see Wesley live, you deserve it as well. You see my finger? I'm talking to you. You deserve it as well. You deserve this. 
You're worthy of this. You are a king. You are a queen. You are great. You are wonderful. You are excellent. You are ambitious. You are smart. You are loving. Remember that. You. You are these things. Hey, this is West Virgin. Much love. Hey, I love you to death. I'll see you guys in Egypt. Get fit with passion.